Hello friends, nice to see you all in here again. In the last video, we learned a step-by-step -step procedure of installing our packages in the RStudio environment. In order to explain the concept of our packages, we used mobile app analogy. Just as the way of having mobile apps installed on your mobile phone extends the features and functionalities of your mobile using our packages in the R environment helps in extending the functionalities of our environment as well. We also saw that whenever you want to use the R package for the first time, you have to install it first. And once you have installed the R package, probably you won't need to install it again unless you want to upgrade a specific R package to a new version. But when you want to use the R package, every time you need to load the R package in your R Studio environment with the help of library function. If you are not sure how to install the R package, you can go back to my previous video. I've given the link of the video in the description below. Please have a look at it. Now let's go on with the agenda of this video. There are many ways that you can get the feel of the data contained in a data frame. In this video, we are going to see three basic functions which are widely used in exploring the data. We will also see a dollar operator which is used to explore a specific column or a specific variable contained in the data. These three functions take data frame as the argument. So let's get started. View function. This is inbuilt function in R Studio. Glimpse function. This function is a part of declared package. Prepare function. This function is a part of data package. Dollar operator. Dollar operator is used to explore a specific variable for the column contained in the data set. We are going to use flights data set and now we are going to try these three functions also the dollar operator on the flight data set. So let's get hands on with the three functions on the dollar operator that is used for the data exploration. So in order to use the three functions, you will have to install the R packages. So these are the three R packages that you would need to use the three functions. The first one is a NYC Flights 13 package. This package consists of flight flights data set, which we will be using for the data exploration. Second one is a deplete package. And the third one is a NITAR package. So as we learned before, these three packages needs to be installed once, but every time you open the R Studio and every time you want to use those functions, you will have to call those packages. So with the help of library functions, I am calling these packages, I am loading these packages in the R environment. And then let's see the uh, data exploration functions one by one. So let's start, let's begin with uh, view, view function. So uh, I will type view and I will call uh, flights data set because this is the data set that we will be exploring. Now let's run this uh, run this command. Now you can see that the error is shown in the in the console. Error in view flights could not find the function view. So as I told told you before that R is a case sensitive language. So here the view starts with a small v but actually the right uh, function uh, is view with v capital so you need to write view with capital v now i am writing the view with capital v and let's see what happens here we go now it has taken because 
uh, I have corrected the function now and once you run the view view function another window pops up so this is the separate window uh, just along along the side of your R script which gets popped up and this window will give you the entire data set uh, as you would get in the Excel so it has a rows and columns as you can see some of the uh, some of the columns have numbers which we call as a quantitative variables these are the numbers and some columns here for example the origin and destination they are the uh, categorical variables so this is basically a text data this we call as a categorical variable uh, another part to look at is uh, on the left hand side the first column the very first column here you will get the separate column for the row numbers so these are the row numbers and uh, against each specific row you will get the details of that specific uh, uh, row number uh, so for example uh, say I am uh, I want to look at row number 5 then you can get an idea of what each row uh, what what the row number 5 is representing uh, so this is typically called as an observational unit uh, so the observational unit in this example is the uh, individual flight which is departing from New York City in 2013. Uh, so if I, would, if I want to see a row number 5 then this particular flight details uh, will be shown uh, across, the, across the table and across the columns. So this is the uh, view function. We remember V with capital uh, V. Uh, the separate window pops up and you can see the entire data sets in the in the rows and column format now the second way uh, to explore the data frame is using a glimpse function now this glimpse function is uh, part of a package called deploy uh, so if you want to use a glimpse function you need to uh, first install the deploy package and then call in your uh, r environment so let's uh, see the output of uh, glimpse function how it looks like so glimpse flights data set uh, if i run this then here we go this is how it looks like so so basically this is an alternative perspective for, of exploring the same data frame the flights data frame that we use for the view function uh, so so you can so you can observe here that the first few entries of each variable in a row uh, after the variable name so here is a variable name and then you will get few entries which are uh, represented under the under the same variable name and you can see in addition to that you can also see the data type so here has a data type int then uh, there will be few data types called DPL for example arrival delay it has a data type called DPL DPL stands for double uh, then there are few character variables tell uh, origin and destination these are all uh, have a data type of character and there will be few there are few data types of dates and time and month so you will get the data types uh, and then basically data types is a computer terminology uh, uh, it's a computer coding terminology used for quantitative or qualitative data and then the last way the, the, the last view that we have seen is uh, Cabell function so in order to use Cabell function you will have to first install the neat R package. Now let's see how the Cabell function looks like. So uh, if you want to clean the uh, clean your output from the console, then you can use this brush, or you can use uh, Control plus L as a short key. So I will be using this brush so that I can uh, clear the console. Now let's have it. and the final way to explore the data frame is using Cabell function. So Cabell function is a part of a neat R uh, package. So I have installed a neat R package and calling that in the R format. So uh, 
let's see how the table function output looks like. So will be LP table, and then you can call the uh, data set. So I'm using uh, this time a lines as a data set. And uh, if I run this, then here we go. Uh, and you can see the difference. So uh, in the previous uh, two functions, the output was like uh, untidy. Was not properly arranged in rows and columns, but with the help of Kabel function, uh, you can see that the output is much more legible and reader friendly. So, this function is basically used when you want to have the output in a nice table and you want to print the output, uh, then this function uh, is very handy. And the last one is the dollar operator. Uh, so basically this dollar operator allows us to uh, you know extract and then explore a single variable uh, within a data frame so if i want to uh, get the name of the airlines uh, so i will use data set airlines data set but i want to get the output of uh, only one specific column which is called as a name then I use a dollar operator and I call the name of that uh, particular variable of the term column so uh, if I if I clean this and if I run this dollar operator then this is how it looks like so what it has done is that out of this uh, airlines data set it has only printed or given the output of the names uh, variable or the name column so it's a very handy uh, operator uh, instead of uh, you know uh, looking at the entire data set output if you want to have a look at a specific variable then this dollar operator comes very handy and then the last one but the, but the list is uh, how to help use the help files uh, remember these help files uh, provides a good documentation for various uh, functions and data sets so for example if I want to see the help file for a flight data set then uh, what you can do here is that you can type uh, question mark I'm sorry uh, you can type question mark followed with the data set name and you can run the command and here we go in the in the console on the right hand side you will see the entire uh, documentation you can see here our documentation entire documentation related to the flights data set uh, what data set it contains what are the variables what are the type of variables and uh, uh, some information related to the uh, source of the data sets as well it's mentioned over here so you can use this uh, help command to understand more about the functions, about the data sets, about the various R features. So in order to build your R expertise, uh, this uh, help command would really help you out. So that's it. That's it folks. In this video we have seen building a dividal set of tools required to explore the data sets in R. There is also an interesting feature in R called help files. The help files are nothing but the documentation for the corresponding data sets and functions. Various data sets available in R. Use those data sets, try, try out all these three functions that we have learned, try out the dollar operator as well as how to use the help command uh, on these data sets until you get comfortable using it. If you are liking these videos, kindly subscribe to my channel and the channel for data science. Siddhartha Sarudde, signing off.